Mm, okay, refresh the page. So let me, 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 let me also test the audio now that <coughs> we are with this. Uh, before anything else, as always, because I do not comprehend why the audio itself that I have on OBS is one thing, and the audio that the stream has on Twitch is a completely different thing. So I, I, I don't know. Um, let, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me hear myself. Is this a good audio? Is this good audio? Is this? Yeah, yeah, it, this is kind of good audio. So, well, um, I don't think I have any. Did I forget something? Yeah, yeah I forgot something. Fuck. <laughs> uh, anyways, meanwhile, uh, hello everybody. Once again, we are all of us gathered here another beautiful night to ponder our things, to analyze our shit, and to, as always, deepen our understanding about the happiness that we can achieve in life. Because this, more than anything else, is a way for us to be happier. Yes, literally. Happy, happy, happy. Pa, 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 pa. So, uh, once again, as always, also, hello, hello, every single one. Hello, dear lurkers. Hello, bot watchers. And in this particular case, hello, stream elements, bot that finally fucking works at time. Hello, Rosepoon. Hello, myself. And hello, Pafu. Um, Pafu, Pafu. Hello. Welcome everybody. Once again, as I said before. <coughs> hey, sorry. <laughs> ah, we, are, we are here. We are gathered basically to, to analyze things. I, I do not completely have in mind what we are going to talk. Why uh, I well give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me give me uh, I need to drop this uh, over here, there it is. There we have the topics for this night in particular. Now, but you're going to make it what? <laughs> what? How is it that you can what? What? What is the problem? No, what is the <laughs> no? This is this is not the first person that tells this to my face. What I um, and I guess it literally makes no sense what I am trying to convey to Buffu. So. I will say, try to try to be here when I get my new microphone, but at the same time, if I cannot, if, <laughs> there is no way to understand that, uh, but well, hello, welcome, uh, welcome, sorry for not giving you your robot, um, I don't know, <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I also didn't thought, um, I, I have that much of an accent, but people really seem to have a, a hard time comprehending whatever I say, so, I guess I have to accept it as a real problem, as a real thing that I should try to deal with. So far, it isn't that much of a thing that I am really worried, so no uh, no bad uh, feelings. <laughs> give, me, give me a second, me. well, I am adding the topics themselves to the visual cue that we have over here. This, 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 and this, there it is. Uh, okay. It what 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 did I lose? I find it easy to listen to it. In a sense, I, I kind of finding uh, similarities. It is almost as every single accent that you can find, as long as you pay attention to what is being said itself, you will end up finding easier with time to understand whatever the particular individual is trying to tell you. So that is. In a case, that is why it is important to pay attention more than anything else, but at the same time also, everybody is able to do whatever they want with their time, so no real pressure. <laughs> there it is. Um, there we have the topics also on the screen. So, ah, yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. Uh, give me, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. There it is. Before anything else, as always, we have our beautiful apple. Because I I tried to eat a banana, but <laughs> we bought like I think five or six apples in a row. So I have been for the last week I think eating fucking 
apples not anything else so well now um, for real we have started i have not i don't have to worry about anything else this time for real um, well well was i well i mean today Really, it felt like one of the longest days I have had in a long time. In a sense, that is something that I really wanted to say. In, in general, it is a lie that I do not feel like through my daily life since I started, as I said before, since I started to stream, because I engage in so much interesting things, not for the sake of being entertaining themselves, but rather because I gained so much and I have to kind of utilize my mind so constantly, it really feels as if I were dilating time as one of the things that we are going to talk about in the future. Uh, it isn't here, yeah, it isn't on this specific topic, so we'll talk about it, but in the future. And it feels amazing to, to see what I said before, basically, it literally feels as if I have been here doing streaming almost three months, when in reality it has been only one and a half and almost a half, not even one and a half and some days more, almost a month and a half. So I don't really know how to feel about that specific thing, but at the same time it, it really is beautiful to notice that one could really gain so much from something that before could not even seem to be that particularly interesting. So yeah, in this case, that is what I wanted to say. Also, hmm, a lot of things that are ha happening in the background, so to speak. Hmm, the microphone is... I don't know what happened, but yeah, yeah, Apple, Apple. I don't know what exactly happened, but um, the microphone will be arriving between what? What is it? Between tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. I don't know what the fuck happened, but we will have the new microphone a lot earlier than what I really expected. So that is very great to see. Yeah, yeah, and. Not a new microphone like this one, which I have to hold with my fucking hands and which ties me out. No, a real new microphone. One of those that you can clip to your clothes and one of those that supposedly, because they are from a good, um, what is it, from a good, um, it is incredible, I forgot, I forgot the, the word. Um, as an XLR, yeah, yeah. No, 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 a USB, a USB, a USB, sorry, a USB mic, and no, it is one of those that, um, as I said, clips to your clothes, so that is why it will be interesting to see how I will perform, because, okay, you might as well, um, let me, let me, let me do this, um, here, um, I will say something, and if you want, you might mute the stream for some seconds. When I'm done with what I was saying, you might as well mm, once again activate the sound because I am going to remove that um, from the screen when I am done with saying what is kind of immersion breaking. But basically, here it goes. Be prepared, mute right now. I have a beard, therefore I could clip the microphone to my own beard instead of clipping it to own clothes, so it is easier for me. So yeah, basically that. We are going to see how I work with the mic. Um, it is it is beautiful to to see that I have a kind of a workaround between between something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is so sad to see that I am not a potato. No, no. But as I said, we basically have that, so I can not die out of um, tiredness, because 
as I have been saying before, I really have a hard time when it gets so fucking hot. So now I can enjoy it more than anything else. Or well, I, what? I, it isn't like what? A kind of incorrect wording of what I wanted to say. It is that I could have an easier time with the mic. Because, yes, it is true that it gets tiring to hold a microphone from an hour for an hour or even longer with one of both hands. And even more when I go for longer streams because I have to constantly swap hands and if I am eating an apple, for example, I need to only hold it with one hand. I, I could try to hold it with the other one, but at the same time, I have literally no problem with... No, the, the complete opposite. I literally will not accept holding something with uh, nasty hands. So yeah, basically that. Easier for, um, for myself, basically. But well, we're very fine. In general. And also, um, well, yeah, I know I didn't talk about it before. I guess this is a, a great moment to talk about it. Kind of, um, as always, coincidences. I, I said it before on the Discord, and um, I guess it is important to accept that as a reality because I wouldn't like people to think that. The potato, in a sense, is pure, when in reality, I tend to... <laughs> you are still banned, Rosbon. You are still fucking banned. No, my brother. <laughs> but well. <laughs> As I was saying, sorry. <laughs> How the fuck you are in it? Do not tell me who you are because I am going to ban you again. If you if you attempt to once again do something so nasty as you did before, you are going to get cancelled, my brother. Not cancelled, uh, banned. What the fuck? For all and sleep. Um, probably. But well, as I was going to say, something that I said on the Discord, and I guess it is important to accept because. It is part of the brand of the potato. I tend to smoke. So, <laughs> one of the things that will probably happen in the foreseeable future is we are going to have a stream where, while well, I keep uh, rolling some beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, when I keep rolling some beautiful, beautiful. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> do not text me. Auto mode is, is crazy sometimes. We are going to have basically that. Me doing the action of creating the CRX themselves. While well, I also ponder out things. And um, so yeah. I guess the important thing to say here is always people please do not smoke. It is completely can cancerous and damaging to the body. <laughs> I guess it is in, in general, not, not something good to do. Um, so, uh, hello, hello, Nico. This is a beautiful time for you to enter because we're moving to the next topic. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Nico. May you be welcome here on another night where we once again delating on eating some beautiful apples. Well, I would guess you should try to search what it means specifically um, wives nasty or something like that because it, it might be a reference to something or it might be what is it um, code words or um, strict language for something in particular you know for example Think about it as if you were saying pussy, you know, it might mean basically that without really saying it. So yeah, that is why it might be banned. Yeah, yeah, basically that. It might mean something that we don't know because we're not um, 
English main language. Well, no, I, I wasn't vulgar. I literally will say that to show what it might possibly mean. And oh wait, yeah, I was vulgar. I didn't use the the professional definition that is vagina. So yeah, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I, I failed it. I literally failed it. I desecrated the graves of our ancestors and now work on them to a thousand years in the yoga fire and what? Stop it. Mm. Well, what I really wanted to say was I, I was kind of amazed at how everything turned out after all, so to speak, properly. I, I wasn't prepared for how everything is going in that is yeah that is basically a way to say it. I wasn't really prepared for how everything is going right now in the sense of how much we're advancing and how much we're learning over here. So it is incredible to see how much over time we have already developed things in general, be them whatever they are. Because in in a sense as as we kind of comprehend those who are paying attention to what is happening here we're going over so many things and we're using so many um, times of our days for the simple act of um, trying to become better in any sense that it really feels amazing to watch as kind of what I said before the simple act of when you have advanced so much and you look to who you were in the past that actually right now is already incredible. So I am really hyped up to see. Him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do not worry, don't worry. Thank you for for looking there. We, we are going to do that uh, in a bit when I done as always. When I'm done with the apple, I am. Uh, I still have more than a half of the apple, I think. So we will be here for a little bit more. I could try to speed it up, but at the same time, if I do that, I do not talk because I need to. Either I eat the apple or I am what is it? Or I talk. So I try to balance both things. And I mean, as I was saying before, it is completely beautiful to see um, that everything is going so so good. Mm -hmm. Sexy Tarzan. Why? But why would they call them that? Basically, why? Why would you call somebody Cam Chandler if he was literally a sexy Tarzan? What? I am, I am missing something. I am not comprehending the reference here. Thank you for the story. Thank you for sharing. You go. <laughs> But wait, mm. Mm -hmm. but with Kum, and why with Kum? What, what particularly about him show that he has Kum, Kid Kava? This supper is incredible, I love it so much. I think in general, um, analyzing the whole Apple journey, the act that I had already developed, so to speak, um, but I, I, I need more context. Why? Why? Why they call him that? So I was going to say then, let me continue. Um, the simple act and the simple habit now of eating apples is incredible, has become something so deeply embedded in the the potato itself that now I kind of look forward to this. Mm, I comprehend I comprehend your your analogy del Nico. But well as long as he was happy everything is fine you know mm.
<laughs> what? That is a fucking dark tour, my man. Mm. <laughs> that is little as it posting my bro. And you know it. <laughs> Unless you have proof of what you're saying, it is shit post. <laughs> But well, I mean, doing some happy trolling will never be bad, you know? Why not enjoy trolling? Oh yeah, Sean. <laughs> Sean Dow, your, your old favorite friend, Sean Dow. Wait. Sean Dow. What I was going to say, is this a nice kid? Or you say, my friend John, I ask John who? And you say, <laughs> this and something new appears in the chat. It would be, it could have been so amazing to do something like that, you know? It would have subverted so much expectations. It would have been an incredible skit. You need to develop your skits more, Ingo. They need to have more profoundness. You have potential there. You need to work on them only. But what? Aside from that, sorry, Inko. <laughs> I guess it is weird to see, in general, that we are so great, so to speak. I, I do not say how it becomes a reality that being so happy with everything that is happening right now ends up becoming so possible. I think mm, trying to be self-aware it will be because, in a sense, I finally started to strive for a real interest or for a real dream, I would say. And, more than anything else, in my particular case. Okay. It comes from the act of also keeping in mind. Not only what makes me move forward, but the proofs themselves of what I am doing being something rather interesting. So yeah, I guess that is why we are so great lately. And that is why I asked something that I wanted also to touch on. Lately, I feel kind of more determined and full of determination. Full of determination, let's say. To keep going. Compared to other times when I have... Um, or well, more than anything else, than when I started. When I could have, in a sense, only kept going because I wanted to say, hey, you know what? I mean, everybody has, has a dream, and the only difference is if we know about it or not, because at the end of the day, even for example, a single character like who Vegeta was had their dreams, for example, and, and rooted on their past and created base on things that they already lived and things they wanted to create once again. For example, because Vegeta itself seemed to be someone who had bad, sorry, when in reality all he wanted, in a sense, was to go back to the whole happiness that gave him the, what was it? The Saiyan Imperium, I think. I think that was the name. And it only, what the fuck? And it only existed because he himself Notice and accept keep his desire. And because, as I was going to say, he strived for it to become a reality. Mm -hmm. And I guess the only thing that we could kind of change here is we're not a character in a comic where things are already predetermined, so to speak. We are the own creators of our own stories where we can literally make things happen the way that we want them to happen as long as we are able 
not to visualize them, but to rather be as accurate as possible with the intentions that we have about the events that we want to see in our future. Because more than anything else, and I kind of see it, um, this is your story, my man. It literally is. Because the act of noticing that you, as long as you are really focused and as long as you really have a clear vision about the desires that you have, you're gonna start working as swiftly as possible on those particular things. It really gives you a tool. And kind of connecting with what we have been talking lately. The conjunction of things and the whole happiness that you will find in every single thing will end up really giving you a boost to keep going. Because at the end of the day, what sometimes might seem sad, as long as you dedicate your time enough to analyze it and to find the great sides about it, you will also find on those particular events even more reasons to keep going. Because the only actual limitation in that case is our capacity to assign those qualities to the, to the events in our daily life. Not the events themselves, but rather our strength, our mental, who is it? Our mental proclivity towards seeing and towards receiving to all, this, all that could be beneficial for your sake. Let's say that. So basically that I mean as long as you're willing you can create the happiest version of yourself that you might as well never have imagined before. The only obstacle is to really see it happening slowly. And the only necessity is also comprehending that you yourself need to constantly make it an existing thing, not, or we are most, in general, as, as anything, if you do not concentrate on the happiness that you have, you might as well slowly be killing the flame that motivates you to keep going forward. Because, even the feelings, come from the things that we see, in a rather unconscious manner. Mm. Here. Because we also have the conscious capacity of deciding what we perceive. The feelings that we perceive the most also get intensified. As in this case, for example, your desire to get a dimple sandwich might as well be satisfied as long as you're willing to go back into the world and search for the recipe, because I am pretty sure she gave it. And if it wasn't given by her, you might as well go and ask the limbal court and see if you can get it. It is only a problem that can be solved by you, by nobody else. But if you do not take it by your own hands and do not solve it by your own manners, And this, I guess, somebody else that was literally living with you saw this. No, no other human could solve their own problem for you. At the end of the day, in this case, more in particular, if you wanted a dental sandwich, it, it, it is only in your hands the possibility of getting every single thing to get that particular item, so to speak, for your own satisfaction. That's it. For, for at least for now, let me let me go through the apple heart and let me also 
because I took so so long, I ended up drinking all the water that I had for two days. So I might as well to take some minutes more because I need to refill one bottle and get another one out of the fridge to drink for this special occasion. So give me give me some minutes. I don't know how much it will take, but when I'm done, we are finally starting with this whole ordeal that is to ponder about topics and there it is transition ha <laughs> I, I, I literally transition to the same to the same scene <laughs> there it is transition now for real um, transition ah, there it is uh, now let me mute myself because you don't want to hear me Pim 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 Welcome, welcome back. What the fuck? I just played around this apple. It was incredible. I just more than anything else because this one was really tasty. Or at least compared to others, I was really conscious about eating the apple, so it felt great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pim 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 pim. Welcome, welcome to the track. We're uh, we're uh, moving on. But give me give me give me a second. Beep, 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 beep. Give me give me ah mouse fuck it no mouse work. Do not stop working please. Um, Thirty six forty five. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm shot. Oh, there it is. Uh, there we have our Uwo and also the first topic done. So let me let me let me get this over here. There it is, and also this. And well, we finally are starting with the first and more in important topic of the night. No, in reality, sorry, it isn't the more important. Every single topic is as important as the last one and as the next one. So uh, sorry for giving that false sense of hope. Every single one is interesting. But well, more than anything else, give me a second because. Um, <coughs> This is the topic that you wanted to hear. Pay attention. Be conscious about what is going to be said here. Mukum, mukum. Pay attention. Pay attention, mukum. So yes, now continue with this. <coughs> the topic itself is titled "Loving Everything," and in this particular manner, let me take the preface of the topic from the sense of 
we can do have an already discussing how the idea of using our mind to be conscious about things end up benefiting us about the overall what um, the overall performance that we end up really showing not only to others but most importantly to ourselves because at the end of the day as long as you are able to have a performance great enough for you as an individual to be grateful about the things that you are doing you find even more reasons as to why you should keep going so in this particular manner we are kind of expressing a tool that gives you even more possibilities of seeing the greatness in things and of observing and so to speak of having at hand the constant possibility of finding even more beacons of hope as we have already called them beacons of hope to keep moving yourself forward so without further ado let me finally start with the topic itself loving everything because I, as i have said before this comes rather from the not necessity but from the desire of having an easier time in this particular manner because we need first and foremost to answer this question why would it be important to love things and why would it be even more important in this particular manner to love every single part of this at the end of the day there is no real reason for anybody to do that right well in this case we need to first understand that when you live in an environment where you are happy as we have already said before your overall not only mental state but health physical condition mental condition that it is not the same for your so to speak consciousness and your overall also acceptance of the events that you foresee and also the obstacles that you have to tackle this whole ordeal and this whole collection of things and thus being easily yes easily processed in a manner in which if you are rather being someone who is full of hatred and who only once in his or in their life let's say <coughs> once in their life only so to speak things that keeps you moving forward for the sake of being so to speak more than anything else a damaging meaning you might as well in this case understand that because you change your direction and you change your so to speak means as to obtain the final ends because you change this whole collection of things your time ends up as i said before being an easier one so now that you have already established the why we might as well start with the how because it is in a sense one of the easiest thing, things to say but it is one of the hardest parts that i myself still find incredibly incredibly difficult to deal with because the act itself of loving every single thing first and foremost is born from the act of appreciation and from the act of being so to speak grateful and before continuing we need to clarify something being grateful doesn't mean that you are so to speak stupidly obsessed with every single event that happens in your life in a manner in which you feel that you somehow are the most blessed human but rather that you have in your consciousness the reminder of every single part that makes you who you are right now ended up coming together and giving you so many possibilities and in this particular case also not allowing the idea itself of because you have so many possibilities you also have so many chances of failing only caressing in as i said before the idea of having so many good greatness and having so many satisfactions to take to partake and to actively try to hunt in, in your future life that in, in this manner 
you start slowly seeing, as I said before, means and reasons as to why it is important for you to keep going. Because, as I said before, when you find reasons and when you find in generally we say it like this, when you find overall in particular things beacons of hope, you start slowly having more confidence towards achieving your goals. And when you start finding on every single particular event, particular object, particular experience, things that end up making you grateful, you also do not only have a tendency to strive harder, so to speak, but you also develop a knowledge so profound and so incredibly useful for you, that is the realization of you being, in a sense, the, the, the best way to always say it is being incredibly capable of achieving the things that you know you are capable of because it first and foremost is born from the realization of the whole collection of things that as I said before made you who you are right now that in the future you end up taking a stance in which not only you do not let the bad things affect you as we have talked before some one of the most important ideas because even if you try to love every single thing that happens in your life it does remove the possibility or the reality that bad things will still happen to not only you but to literally every single human but at the same time also, when you create this tool and when you develop it to such a profound state, you also start to slowly comprehend and to, compl to slowly caress the real importance of this particular part of you that ends up giving to the whole rest of your person, to the whole rest of your body, to the whole rest of your whole being. One of the most important and most solid, so to speak, pillars of the problem is saying empowerment is not enough because it is not only a reason to, to wake up, it is not only something that you are grateful, it is not only that keeps you going forward, it is not only something that you even sometimes could even end up crying because it is so, very, so great and so amazing and so incredibly beautiful to see and to analyze and to put into perspective. It is so incredibly much more than what could ever anyone convey you with simple words that when you really develop this tendency, so to speak, let's say like this, the most exaggerated manner to say it is, you end up almost entering a different plane. Let's say like that. The most exaggerated way to say it is, you literally start walking a different path because you have so many tools and you have so many easiness in your life that when you accept everything with a whole heart and when you are so are prepared to be so incredibly and so amazingly accepting about things and so caressing, so graceful, so as I said before, so really predisposed to give and to see things with a positive light that, as I said before, almost nothing could really stop you. Because in this same manner, the actual realization of every single thing only giving you more possibilities for moving forward in your objectives is as big as any other idea that you might have ever have. So yes, that is why in this case it is important. And in this case, more than anything else, the possibility of developing this tool aside from any other one really gives you a sense and a proof of real hope because if you think it is not important to love and it is not important to cultivate in you the qualities of acceptance the qualities of being somebody who partakes in happiness and somebody who really cultivates the fruits of the revelations that we tend to have in life regarding the whole sake of being somebody who enjoys things you will in a really sad manner only make your time harder and Life by itself is hard. It 
there is no actual need for you to make it even harder. The challenge is that you yourself try to go for and the different problems that you are trying to tackle have nothing to deal with the act of you developing as much tools as you can for making that specific challenge something easier to to finish and something easier to so to speak achieve so yes in this particular case as i tend to say this idea is only for your own benefit and as long as you're able to address it and as long as you are able to start slowly cultivating this tiny seed of hope in you you will so to speak have in a sense one of the most useful tools to let yourself fall on because in I, I couldn't say it in another way. A cushion of so much happiness can bounce you back so incredibly fast and with a so much faster pace than anything else that you yourself could not even comprehend it right now if you do not have it. Let's say it like this. So yes, please. Happy, love and beauty. All of those things. Whatever you take from this, cultivate, my dear spectator. So yes, now, uh, <laughs> sorry for, for that final line. Let me move on to the next topic. Oh. There we have it, there we are moving on. Uh, well, give me a second because I need to drink water. <coughs> water. Beautiful. Well, sorry. As I wanted to say, now we are moving on to the second topic in this case, that is seeing a higher purpose. We I, I guess the best way to connect this idea and the last one is as, as equally as I said before that you could have and you could develop a tool which or yes, in which you can find an, an incredible pillar and a cushion to which you will end up falling inevitably when life gets so incredibly hard and in which you can also bounce back to whatever you are striving for that by itself the act of realizing this and the act of being aware of this new tool might as well give you an even new possibility and an even new and more refreshed hope than other things that you have already held in other places. But well, now itself, topic, seeking a higher purpose, what it means, what we are addressing here, because before really starting with the topic, we have to address an idea, and that is lately in society, because we have come from such a long story of a higher purpose might only mean something equal to God, it tends to be a very blurry line in which we could not really find a message itself. When you are speaking about having a higher purpose, finding a real interest, really focusing our minds in things that we know are, so to speak, beneficial to us. So, let us be clear. We are speaking about whatever you, through your whole journey and you, through as the individual that you are, seek and you already comprehend is beneficial not only to you, and not only to those who are around you, but also could become so incredibly good for those that might come in contact with your whole environment, be it you, yourself, or those who also surround you. Because in this particular case, let's say like this, yes, we might be referring to God, but at the same time, we might be referring to a simple ideology, we might be referring to a simple idea, we might be referring to a simple particular thing that gives you so much hope and so much means to keep striving for the future that you yourself find a complete interest over making this purpose a reality and not letting it, so to speak, die. Because let's 
abort the topic itself. When you find something that you know is so incredibly beneficial for every single one who sees that, you start to become completely determined to make that a reality and you also start to be completely, in a sense, almost obstinated to make that as much as you can become something that others also take benefit from because and this is kind of the sad part about this when you see others that do not have this you also notice how these people tends to work for others who might as well really have completely defined higher apparatuses completely defined ideologies completely defined ideas when you yourself are the one who created the means as to which you are moving your whole reality and the means as to which you are going forward with your whole intention you as i said before and literally the same thing here you see more tools and more incredible happiness at your whole surroundings that you end up being so determined and so completely almost in a sense let's say like this avaricious to make that particular event become as i said before a thing that is possible not only for you but also to others to say it became a reality that you also find determination on the wholeness on the act itself of realizing these actions and also on the act itself of being someone who is working towards that particular thing and something that is kind of blurry to say is higher purposes may take any form and the only thing that matters is to know the form itself only needs to be beneficial as long as you are not harming anyone your high purpose might be correct the problem with this idea is how much you have already defined what does and does not harm others because if you do not realize that when your high purpose ends up being harmful to others, you might as well be failing in achieving, so to speak, the wholeness and the complete connections with this particular ideology that you're following, with this particular dream that you're going forward for. Because as with every single thing in life, you will end up being at some point or another, let's say like this, tested, discouraged, tried to be proven wrong, when in reality, if you know and if you have the possibility and if you also have the proof in your hands, so to speak, that what you are really trying to make a reality is not only beneficial to you, but as I said before, to those who surround you, to those who also come in contact with it for the first time, when this is also a reality, you find even more, not only entertainment, but also determination for you to keep going. And when your high purpose is strong enough, everything else in life ends up being, so to speak, ordered for that particular high purpose to be the sole focus of you yourself. And I, I think in, in this particular case, there, there wouldn't be almost anything else to really add because one of the main problems with this is the high purpose that you're pursuing is in a sense something that only you can really understand so if whoever is trying to tell you this if whoever has already told you this if whoever has given you these tools forgets to remind you about this and forgets to tell you that you need to not taint it with other external things you might end up being so to speak someone who loses their own focus for the sake of satisfying others so yes please enjoy while at the same time also not letting others have an enjoyment out of your changes so yes uh, sorry sorry uh, there is no problem at all as always um, 
the world also to probably in the future because I don't think today I will have time for it but in the future I will also upload this to to YouTube and there is already the timestamp so between what is it between 36 45 and 46 20 the, the topic itself was talk about so no do not despair I man you can you can catch up whenever you want now we're only moving to the third topic because nothing else really that I saw mine right now as I said before you need to remain pure in this sense so the more I tend what you already might know and what you already have in mind the blurrier it becomes for you to go for it so yes let me only mark the X here mark the three points over here and also make the tiny timestamp sorry uh, I forgot to do that Seeking, seeking. I fuck. Uh, <laughs> I cannot screw. Uh, it is fifty fifty nine. Let's say it, it is better to say fifty nine. Uh, bim bim bim. There it is. Now we are moving to the third topic of the list because obviously we already went over the first half so we only have the second half of this beautiful topic list to go over because the rest was already discussed so yes we are in this particular manner going over a beautiful concept that is to in a sense speak about a preface when you, you hear notice in your mind you might as well consider this very similar to the idea of entering the soul. If you already kind of know about that concept, you might as well skip this particular part, because it is literally the same as before, and it is almost literally the same as what you already know. If in a sense, for example, you don't know how to enter the soul properly, how to achieve, a, so to speak, mindfulness state and all of those things you might st stay here but if you already know that literally no problem over skipping this because topic itself when we are discussing over not using your mind we are not discussing about letting go of the mind but rather we are discussing about the idea of entering a state in which we are so capable of doing actions that we do not even have a conscious necessity of thinking about the things that we are doing but rather we end up, so to speak, our whole flow of unconscious ideas and flow of unconscious mind that is us that it feels as if it is, in a sense, the easiest things the easiest thing to realize in our whole life and First and foremost, the actual question is as always what? I don't know why we dropped the mic. Why would we have an interest in doing this? Why we will have at all a reason as to why we will want to enter the zone, so to speak. In this particular manner, we have to address it in this way. If you are able to comprehend that having an easier time and not putting your mind on the actual things that you have to realize be them something that you will constantly have to do or something that in particular you know will be so strenuous in your whole body that you might as well try to not damage yourself as much as you can as long as, as you understand that you also see the interest in trying to develop the tools and try to develop the tendency more than anything else to enter such states because we need to start with a, a very far concept from what is actually not using the mind consciously and that is throughout your life you have already so to speak glanced at this and also kind of given yourself in these things why because every single person has at one point or another enter a state in which they let ideas and they let, so to speak, concepts and simple, so to speak, connection of patterns and simple 
repetitions are already created and understood. Actions to take after certain events are created in a very, very similar kind of even coding way, let's say it like that, that you enter a state in which you were almost not paying attention to the thing that you were doing, not because it didn't require it, but rather because you had the whole collection of things at your hand and you easily were able to do the things that you require to do in a manner in which you had, so to speak, maybe even if you didn't realize a great time. So yes, in this particular case, the actual state, as I said before, tend to be called the flow state, the mindfulness, the meditation zone, the whatever you want to call it. Some things, for example, people also call this nirvana, even when in reality it is all only a simple, so to speak, flow of consciousness in which you can go yourself and in which you can almost, as long as you understand that what we're going to talk about next, force yourself to enter. Why? Because as I said before, this only comes from a collection of events that you can recreate at consciousness and at will more than other things. Why? It first and foremost begins, as always, with the idea and with the desire you yourself of having the intention as also of having, so to speak, an easier time. Why? Because the first part of this is born, so to speak, in the comprehension of whatever you are doing. As long as you understand whatever you are doing, as I said before, almost in a complete manner, you will have, you will have the first part of this, so to speak, completed. As long as we're not really going to delve in these particulars. As long as you have the complete comprehension about the parts that make the actions that you're going to engage in already present in your mind, you have the first part of this done. Next, the second most important part is to actively desire to go not in this state, but to rather do things as swift as possible. And the problem with this particular part of the mind is you need to be conscious that you need to do and you need to have your mind focus on doing things correctly, not to over worry yourself and, so to speak, underestimate the task in a way with which you end up being, so to speak, overwhelmed, but rather because you yourself can force, so to speak, a state in which you are so focused on everything going correctly that you have the capacity of driving your mind over the wholeness of the actions and over the complete collection of things that makes, as I said before, the parts of this particular collection of events, actions and desires that you go yourself in a state in which you complete all of these things in a, in a manner in which you normally probably will not be able to do because at the end of the day, more than anything else, this is a wholeness by which you have an easier time. Also, I, I think it is kind of important to say it, even if what I said means that you will have an easier time, it also is true that you will probably get completely tired about what, by what you are doing. Because if you do not expect to get tired, you will be really surprised to see yourself almost sweating at something that you were doing so swiftly, so to speak. Because the whole consciousness state in which you attain end up being so completely resource consuming that your whole body kind of enters an overdrive, so to speak. And at the same time, you also have one of the easiest times doing that same action. But one part does not cancel the other. So yes, basically that. Now, I don't think I have anything else to uh, address in, in this particular manner. So we might as well try to move to the last topic of the night. And that is destroy every possible obstacle. But uh, before that, let me make the timestamp. Mm. Ah, what? 
Okay, there it is. Um, 107, let's say 45. Okay, there it is. Now for real. Uh, last topic of the night. Before or after I drink water. <laughs> What a fucking beautiful thing that is. Yeah, after after I drink water. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, after I drink water. And this now. <coughs> Last topic of the night. Destroy or destroy every possible obstacle. We kind of have already touched over different ways to achieve this. More than it, it, it wasn't a question. I, I only stumbled my words because I'm sleepy. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, I meant to say yes, yes. Destroy, destroy every single problem because the topic itself concentrates on the idea and on the concept of having, so to speak, a swift time as possible, doing the things that you really enjoy for the sake of, as I said before, consuming, analyzing, and more than anything else, realizing how incredible of a good time you could end up having. In this particular manner, you have to start with the concept itself of more than anything else having a calm that an obstacle will never represent something that you cannot, so to speak, overcome. If the obstacle is something that you cannot overcome, the first thing you need to have at, care at hand is the idea of you need to find ways to circumvent that existing not problem but rather immovable option that has presented in your life. If, as I said before, this is an immovable object that has presented in your life, you also need to take into account that this kind of so to speak, advice does not apply to that. Only what I said, finding ways to circumvent that pro immovable option will help you. Nothing else that I say here might as well apply it to it. So yes, after that uh, tiny intervention, let's really start with the topic. Through life, we tend to find a lot of obstacles. And why in this particular manner we should have the idea, the necessity and the desire to destroy every single one of them. Because, as we kind of have been talking about here today, more than anything else, the realization of you having a, a swift time as possible in your whole life, which we have already established, will not be a swift one and will not be a easy one, will end up giving you more and more trying to connect everything that we have already talked about before uh, more time to appreciate every single thing in life and will also give you the possibility of having your purpose be as clear as a day even more if it was not or even more if as we have talked before we have already established that so in this particular case when you see, when you comprehend, and when you have present in your mind that you have the possibility, because this all starts with this, you accepting that you have at hand and that you are capable, first and foremost, of achieving the act of overcoming different problems and different problematics that are presented to you in your life, as long as you understand that, you also start to slowly see and slowly comprehend that every single ounce and every single event of life might as well be something that you can deal with. And as I said before, even those that are, so to speak, immovable objects can be circumvented. Nothing is really capable of stopping the human and the incredible collection of events that is you. So, in this particular case, how in a sense Sorry, in a sense, how we could almost make this a reality? Let's say like this. 
if you really find that you yourself are determined and as I said before have already created the determination in yourself also of really being capable to deal with every single problem that you find in your life you might as well start to have one of the easiest times and start to really deal with these problems in a manner in which you comprehend first and foremost that the attaining and the superation of every obstacle starts with almost what we already talked about before the comprehension of every single ounce of that and every single reality of it and every single part that comprises the whole the wholeness of this as i said before whole event after you have that and after you also have in your hands the comprehension of you being able to do it you only need to take action and when you have the means you have the desire the ways in which you need to exert your action become as clear as a day so in this particular case it almost becomes impossible to really add anything when you yourself already know in which ways you can solve the problems and at the very least if you didn't have that present in your mind you can start seeing and you can start developing the habit of believing that you yourself are capable and also the interest in trying to find as many solutions as you can to the different problems that obfuscate your life because if you let even one single problem throw you down the accumulation of the different tiny ones that end up happening through every single one's lives will end up making yours, so to speak, unbearable to keep going. So yes, basically that. Not really that much to add in this particular case. So we might as well close this in, in this manner. Know that you are capable and start seeking ways in which you can deal with those things. And as always, just in case, Remember, it is important to never hurt others, but even if your problems might seem to be only be solved by violence, violence is never the solution. So yes, now we really can say that we finished this. <laughs> so well, uh, beautiful stream as always, so... Oh, I don't know how much did I talk, uh, one hour or even a second. One hour, fifteen minutes, and let's say thirty seconds. Uh, pe -pe 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 -pe. Well, I kind of missed the point. Yes. Uh, let's try every single obstacle. There it is. Uh, which time it is in reality? Forty-five. Okay. There it is. Now, for real, we have the final timestamp, and now we can kind of use our time wisely in other things. So, and um, do we have any questions? Do we have something for me to answer? Do we have something that we want to know? Do we have uh, anything done? If not, for today, I might as well end it here because I I don't know where. But somehow I found myself very tired. <laughs> at, at, I think at, at the last topic it really might as well started leeching and it started showing. But um, I, th I think it came more than anything else from the whole thing that it was today overall. And more than anything else, as I kind of tend to say, I have to come with the topic itself in an inventive manner so it gets kind of tiring to do it sometimes completely out of nowhere but at the same time i will not even try to lie the beautifulness of all of those things coming together for this particular thing are so incredibly great that i cannot even lie i really enjoy it so yes as always I can only be grateful for this whole experience and I can only say thanks for everybody who came here and for everybody who decided to stay, who decided to hear the message after this stream itself was over and who decided to look, who decided to shut, who decided to do any single thing. As always, if it weren't for your support, I wouldn't be here and if it weren't for your show of appreciation and for your kindness in the sense of really showing that what we are doing here means anything at all, 
I wouldn't have had the desire, the interest, and almost anything else to look going. So, as always, thanks to you. My dear spectator, thanks. It is always a pleasure to do this. So, you might as well. In this particular case, finish this beautiful stream, as always, with a ride. <laughs> so, yes, literally, literally, fucking family. I, I think it kind of becomes impossible to, to say family. <laughs> Slowly we're really building that habit here, so yes, happiness, complete happiness, we are so, 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 so great, so well, we, we shall as well finish this and move to the next thing, oh, we might as well find ourselves in the next opportunity when the time comes, I don't know if tomorrow I will have the chance of doing an early stream, but I will try to force it, because I really was able to perform today, so I will see if I can have at the very least one whole week when I can do three streams every single day. I, I will try uh, really hard for that to become a possibility, so we will see what ends up happening. But well, that is enough of me. We shall as well indulge finally on distractions. Uh, in this particular case, kind of unexpected. Fuck. We're only one view. We're only one view. Ah, I might as well. Uh, shit. Anyways, I cannot avoid it. I already got everything else uh, set up. There it is. We're going to go to ride the fish. So it was beautiful as always. Thanks for being here. And we find we shall find each other in the future when the opportunity itself presents. Now that's it for today. And nothing really else to say. Thanks for every single enjoyment that we have. Shall the time bring us together once again? As always, thanks for everything. And in particular, thanks to you. Right now.